My name is John Vitucci. I'm a sixth year PhD student in the Aerospace Engineering Department. John Vitucci is uh, another uh, NASA Space Technology Research Fellowship awardee. Uh, so he is working on the superconducting helicon thruster as well. Uh, particularly, he is looking at uh, the hardware implementation of integrating the superconducting magnet technology that we've been researching with the actual uh, propulsion device. So we have sort of separately looked at the ability to use superconducting magnets to create the desirable magnetic fields that we want. Uh, we've also separately been looking at the thruster technology and, and its performance. So he is taking the two and putting them together for the first time uh, to allow us to be able to sort of evaluate how the system integrates and performs. Uh, so the basis of the project is to take a thruster that uses a magnetic field and shape the magnetic field so that we can get a better performance out of it. And one way we can do that is with superconductors. What we're doing in this experiment is looking to modify the magnetic field of a permanent magnet or a solenoid even to a desired geometry for a plasma thruster. So one way that we can do this is through the Meissner effect with superconductors. So we look to take two tubular superconductors and we cool them down to their critical temperature with the nitrogen, which is what you see some of the condensation that's going on around the setup. And then at that point, then we can start changing the magnetic field. So we can either turn the solenoid off or move our permanent magnets or to whatever whatever form or shape that we'd like. So really the application here has been found that certain space thrusters operate better under certain magnetic con configurations. And so what we're looking to do here is take advantage of superconductors where we necessarily won't have to power them continuously like we would with a solenoid and run current through it constantly. We can just change up the magnetic field as we want just based off of the shape of the superconductors. So that's what we're looking to test here. Right now we're looking at mapping the magnetic field and figuring out what, what shape works the best and you know what configuration we'd like to actually use when we go ahead and apply this with the helicon thruster. So that was that's kind of the basis of the, of the project. Um, you know, we're definitely looking to, to expand it to different technologies and um, there's a lot of great science to come out of it, not just the, the application for, for space thrusters, but just being able to modify a magnetic field and put it into any shape that you want is, is very, very um, applicable to many different areas. So the way I got involved in the project was um, with the, the director, Dr. Raymond Sedwick. Um, originally I came in unfunded. I did a year of just studies, thinking I was going to be a master's student taking some classes. Um, he came to me and, and told me about a particular fellowship, the, the NASA Space Technology Research Fellow Fellowship. Um, <clears throat> so he said, hey, you know, I think you'd be a great candidate for this. Uh, I think you should apply. So with the first fellowship I applied for, sure enough, I, I got it. And um, I've been in the clear ever since. I've just been researching and uh, that's kind of taken me all the way until now.